Well, inventor, it's been a while. I say that because for the past week or so, I've had to deal with learning Unigraphics and X, which, in my opinion, is not as good as Inventor. But you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about eye properties, and rightly so. Because the eye properties are the place where just about everything you want to know about what you're working on is located. For example, I have here a part. Now, if I click up here, clicking the eye, and going to eye properties, this window pops up. And it's divided into sections. Um, the sections include various bits of information about the file, um, information that you can input, and information that is derived from your inputs. Um, general information about the file is here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then uh, summary, project, and status are all presets that uh, you can modify. And then custom allows you to make your own. Um, save determines the uh, preview picture. And one of the most significant is at the end, uh, physical. Uh, in the physical properties tab, you can determine the parts material from the Autodesk material library. Now, note that material is not to be confused with appearance, as they're independent of each other. So, um, the material determines the other physical properties. So, if I were to hit update, so now the, the material's density determines uh, the mass, the area, and all these other properties. And you can use those properties for what you will. Now, these properties are only so useful when you have the part open. So let's look at how to view these properties on a drawing. So in a drawing, in the browser, there is listed uh, sheet, border, and title block. Um, the properties are displayed in the title block. So if we right click title block and go to edit definition, we gain access to what properties are displayed. So once in the title block, uh, you'll notice there are two different types of text. Um, standard text here is for labels, um, and then the text in brackets are properties, and those can be edited. For example, if I were to say double click company and wanted to change it to something else, say material, then I can go to this list, uh, select the model properties, and find material and click this little add text parameter then it show it'll show the material instead of the company so if I go and save the title block and go ahead and place a part it displays the material so that's how you make a custom title block. Um, I'll probably make another video on how to make a custom drawing template entirely, but for now, that's about it. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to ask questions, leave comments, or give feedback. I've been Mike, and I'll see you next time.